guys, welcome back to the shop. I'll show you what we're working on here tonight. We're going to be doing some lathe work. We're going to do some more heavy turning. I'm going to do some applied heavy turning after we did the, the face off and the turn more series. So I wanted to uh, get this spindle job here, which is, has been a repeat failure on a customer's drill. About the third one of these they broken. So I'm going to try and make this out of a better piece of steel. Uh, we've got some fatigue proof in here which I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure this was cold roll uh, to begin with. So hopefully that's going to improve the strength situation enough that uh, they won't have any more problems. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and we've got a piece of uh, three inch proof in here and my finger saw turning insert set up to T-turn, heavy turning and uh, I'm going to be doing some high feed and decent depths of cut to get this roughed out and I'll go in and finish it off with just a regular triangle insert. So let's get this fired up and get started. I want to say thanks to all my subscribers that have had me here in the last couple weeks. I think I've just about doubled. Uh, not going to break any tremendous marks, maybe 50 or something next year. I don't know. It'll be all right. <laughs> so we're going to get the Monarch going here and uh, let's see how this works. All right, so we're set up here in the speed set at 300 RPM. Same size here so I don't get spray back. Didn't even phase it, insert. See where we're at here, we're shooting for an inch and five eighths about. Currently one nine six five. I'm 
money. So, let's say that's right. Should be 2.270. Let's see what we got. Little old stack set of adjustable mics, O to three, with the different handles. Yep, one three hundred for my right on it. I need to be at one two fifty. Okay, so I checked this out here. We got 12 thread per inch. So I set the lathe. Spin the thread it up here. A nice fit on the nut, no rock. The clean fit feels really good. So now we're ready to switch back, do some turning, finish this thing out. Okay, so I got my radius tool in here. Got to cut back to this line here. It should be just right on. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're back out here tonight. Uh, I'm going to finish up this spindle. Unfortunately, my video card ran out of memory when I was cutting these radiuses in here uh, last night. So I'm going to get that in a different clip. Basically, I just used a uh, ground form tool here to match the radius in the other part to cut that to, for stress relief keep any 
sharp edges don't want to attack because that's a surefire place to have something break. So I have changed my insert here. Got one with a bigger radius on it. Gonna see if that uh, improves the surface finish any. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, all I've got left to do to this is finish turn these bearings and undercut a relief so that you don't have to drive this one bearing back across uh, two inches before it needs to be where, where it is. So just gotta undercut that and uh, fire this thing up and see how it goes. I got my speed set 375. Speed rate, and uh, go in here and touch this off. Get a diameter for this different insert. Get the sail a little better surface right on. Good bro, good bro. Oh yeah, I like that.
this right here, I'm going to say, is mission accomplished.